Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. Yeah, this is the Tiger Technician Hour, and I had a question. I'm going to go right to it at this moment. Could I look at the VB? K, that's the Vanguard Small Cap Growth ETF. <clears throat> Had a really spectacular move. Um, let's just go through this now. In the weekly chart, going from a low <clears throat> in the 190s to a high uh, just above 245. Then it pulled back to the 220 level, and now it's trading at 239, <clears throat> up 83 cents. So keep your eye on this right channel, on the on this right uh Right here, right side chart. That's the monthly chart of the Vanguard Small Cap Growth ETF. VBK is a symbol trading at 239.60, up 83 cents. Have a look at this chart right now. This is the IWM iShares Russell 2000. You can see that they make similar, but the VBK is actually a little bit stronger. It did not take out that left side low. Let's just do that again. V, B, K. Look, it's making higher lows and higher highs, and it's gone to a leg D. So you can see that that was a peak C. Uh, I'm not calling it a C minus right now, but it has failed. Um, it hasn't taken out the left side low that was way back in the 120s from uh, March of 2020. But we have got a buy signal that's gone to a buy mode. Now, I'm putting all this in. It's historic, so I can never be wrong. Look, I put the lower, I choose the lowest low. That's what you do in the Chapman methodology. When it's in real time, it's not quite so easy. I mean, we've been trying to do that lately. Some of it's worked. Some of it has to be tried twice before it really works. And there we are. The rectangle is really a rising channel, which could become... Chapman wave falling axe formation. Um, if it fails, the dreaded H takes out the left side low. So far, it's acting quite well. So, yes, I like it. Now, if you, I, I'm sure uh, the person asking me has already started a position. <clears throat> the question is, where do you add? Let me just have a drink of tea. Where would you add? So, that's really a very important question because. There's a pattern that I call the dreaded H pattern where it takes out the left side low. It comes down quite sharply. Let me see if I can find one right here. It comes down quite sharply. And then, um, there we go. So this is the H pattern. I always think that markets are made up of three patterns. Straight line up, straight line down. Cup formation it could be a V, but it's a cup formation going from one point down and then back to that point. Or an arch going from one point up to a high and then turning down, and it's either an inverted V or an arch formation. And then you get what happens next when you put the two together. In this case, it's one and three, straight line down and an arch formation. If it takes out that left side loan within two bars, sometimes I'll say three bars, but it's really, I, I prefer two bars. If it can close above the left side low, that's a save. If it goes and starts to move sharply below, you can even get a one-to-one -one of the arch formation from the low down to the bottom. Well, in fact, here's your dreaded H. and usually fails at a peak A or a peak B. In this case, it went to a peak B. All you do is you count each higher peak and you label them alphabetically. And there it is. And then what happens is this becomes a very bullish pattern where the lowercase h gets saved because the technicals have turned around very sharply. And the price moves up and it closes. I usually say for two bars out of three, but it's really important that it closes above the left side arch. Well, this is the second session above it. So it's very important. And the way I'm looking at this, there's a chance that this is going to make the U-turn so that the cup formation says that you can start to see a move to the upside and now I'll do the measured move from the left side to the right side. The Chapman Wave methodology it was a Chapman Wave two-bar reversal right at the top of this recent rally. And now you've got left side going to the arch high. 
right side, make it green. Now, you don't have to have all these tools. You could just use a line and make the one thick and the one thin or one straight and one dashed, straight but dashed. And this says that by the uh, uh, 30th of January, there should be an attempt to get to the high, a little double top high, 246.18 to 246.15. That's a chapter wave. Uh, two bar reversal right there. It's usually a good sign to say, watch out, you got yourself a reversal to the downside. And lo and behold, what do we have? We have the chance that now what I like to do is to do a chapter wave inside wedge target repellent line. So I'm doing that, doing that. And all of this is all, all in my, my notes that I have and all my webinars that if you're a subscriber, you can check them out. Go through more. You can become a subscriber, get my work for uh, 29 days or 30 days for free, and then cancel, and you can get everything. It's That's the way it is. So this is now a move that says the next resistance will be, if it's today, it's at 241 in the 241s. If it's tomorrow, it'll go to the 240, 250 area. So that's your inside wedge magnet target resistance line. And if it starts to fail, you've got good support right here on the nine period moving average of 236. So you're at 239.83. Yes. So I would say in your case, you, you probably already have a position. In your case, I would say add. Why? Because this you can monitor. I would have a very tight stop. The low today is in the 239s. It's trading at 239.83. The low is 239.44. Ah. You could go in right here, 240 point, oh, as we were speaking, it just popped up, 240.18 uh, as your add-on. But this one, I would have, I'd have a stop of 1%, maybe even less, and I have it as a trading stop and just let it take you to wherever it's going to go. That's the way. And it is a peak C in the weekly chart, and it should go to a, B, a leg D above 246.18. Um, here, it's the same time that we're talking about going into, is that next week? Don't tell me, we've already almost wrapped up January. Today's the 23rd. Oh, we've got a whole week. We've got another week. Wednesday's the end of the month. Okay, very good. Yeah. So that's the way it's looking right now. Just short term, I'm saying be a little careful. We've got some kind of a digestive phase. But now it's the individual stocks. And that's the reason why uh, for subscribers to my opening call, now I'm not interested in the price. Usually I say, well, mix between high price, this is not overvalued, it's just a high price stock. And high price stock can actually be undervalued. Well, it doesn't matter, but it's high price stock or um, very low price, maybe single digit stocks of which we have a couple. Now, and the most important thing here is that I want to see, oh, I haven't even done the overview yet. So the overview says, I'm watching the financials closely. Why? Yeah. Oh, look, the, the monthly chart of the XLF, which is the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund, almost looks like the one we were looking at here. Look, here's the right side. That happens to be a monthly chart. Charts don't know whether they are minute, one-minute charts or monthly charts. They just do their thing, and they're, they're fractals of human nature. So they're always going to do almost the same thing that a monthly chart would do, just in a longer time frame. What were we looking at here? Uh, we were looking at, uh, was that Vanguard? F -V -F -F if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back. I just want to get all the things that have been asked about. Okay, so this is uh, really important. So the question came in here. Basil, could you look at, where did it go? Uh, could you look at, hi Basil, all favorite ASPN. All right, we'll look at that in a moment. But before I do that, the one that I wanted to bring to at least my attention was uh, Duncan Steve's question, Basil, hi. Can you please check near-term direction for CFLT? So CFLT, you see this is the E-mini at yesterday from 1 o'clock. Look, actually, I could go back. I happened to choose this when I was doing my analysis. I certainly could have gone back. The narrow rectangle, I have a whole, you know, not just one. I have a bunch of webinars where I talk about the, the large rectangle and the narrow rectangle. So the way I was looking at this this morning is I did my analysis continuing from last, uh, from yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Look how you can get trapped. In a short-term position, you, if you are stuck, if the, if the chart actually says to you, look, open your eyes, I am stuck in a narrow rectangle, uh, rectangle pattern, and the border on the upside retains the price. You cannot break out. Every time you think it's going to break out, it doesn't break out. And then on the downside, every time you think it's going to break down, it doesn't. And it stays like a little worm in a, in a tube little glass tube that you can watch, just start going up and down and up and down. But I always do my Chapman Wave notation from the from the most important low that was made. And from this low, look what happened. It went to peak A, peak B, then it pulls back. And that B was really just stuck in the rectangle from previous. But this is a 10-minute E-mini chart. Then what look it does, it pulls back, and then I get a brand new. This is not the start this is the start. So this is another peak A, peak B, peak C. Then it goes to D and an E. It doesn't break out. Uh, this is at um, 11 o'clock last night. So I, I I just wrapped everything up. I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm watching it. I suspect that it's going to eventually break to the upside for a little bit, go to a D or an E, and then pull back. And then the midpoint channel line, the horizontal channel line, is going to be absolutely imperative to hold. So where are we? Pulls back, goes to a second E. In the, and what we're doing in the Chapman Wave is identifying and, and notating alphabetically A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's never an H. 
to the upside. Then it pulls back and does another one, peak A, peak A, B, C, and lo and behold, it goes to a D this morning at about uh, 8.30 uh, or whatever it, that was. That was 8.40, I think it was. I'll tell you right now. At 8.50. And then what does it do? It pulls back. So I had drawn in, and I didn't make it thick because I just said, I, I'm, I don't want... To me, it's not the most important horizontal line. That the horizontal line at 47.89, no, sorry, 98, was really very important. Um, but I'm going to make this as a potential. So now I'm going to make it thicker, and I'm going to change the color. So style, let's make it first weight, make it a little thicker, uh, just for the moment. I don't like to keep it this way. I'm going to make it pink. And I'll make it a dashed line because it's really not part of the usual vernacular. And what did it do? It pulled back. It touched the line four out of the last five 10-minute bars. And now it's trying to bounce. And it's still a green nine period moving average. But I can see that it's getting real close to turning peak. But it hasn't. So you can't over-anticipate. And what is it? It, is gone, it has gone back to the rectangle resistance line which is now like a little mag upper magnet line so why did i do this because you just asked me about cflt and look at cflt there is your rectangle formation it's trying to break out it cannot it's just for for 14 days 14 sessions i should say <clears throat> it's been stuck in this pattern if you look at the weekly with the pink nine period moving average, there is nothing there. This is Confluent Inc. A shares, real time data streams platform, event driven. Sounds great. I when I looked at this uh, a little while back, um, I thought, whoa, this is something to watch. Sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Real time. No. It, it, look at the chart. The chart says um, as an IPO back in 2021, screened up to the 90s then plummeted down to the most recent low in the 14-15 uh, area. And lo and behold, it's just kind of stuck there right now. It went to a peak D. Remember, peak D is where other things can happen. Look at that peak D daily, peak D monthly, a uh, weekly. Monthly just went to a B and then failed, and, and that's a B minus. So I'm just saying it's stuck. So the answer is near term, it looks like it's, it's kind of weak. And it looks like if it doesn't hold 20, if it doesn't hold this candle low from yesterday, the low of 21.79, there's a good chance it's going to test the low of 21.03. But that's your baseline, 21, and it could keep going there and then pulling and, and then trying to bounce. So I just see it as a no, very short term. If you had to go to the 120 minute chart, uh, peak A, peak B, peak C, it's fading it as C. Yeah, near term, I think it's still going to still pull back a little bit more. So, yeah, be careful. That's all I'm going to say to you. Um, the next question was, uh, because I had a question right here, my email is FXI. Is it ready for a bounce? Let me see FXI. I said just be really, really careful. So today, where did it go? Oh, let me just see if this is fitting the, uh, yeah. So I don't know where I've got this uh, Fibonacci from. Uh, but the Fibonacci level was hit exactly yesterday, right there, at um, 20.86. And then today, I believe uh, China is having a nice bounce. It's about time, right? Having a very strong bounce at 4.3%, at 22.05. And so the question is, uh, are, you, are you looking at this as a potential for a bounce? And I'd say, yeah, just on an oversold, you could have another day or two. But... If any time the next two days um, it closes, no, it, it actually trades under 21.61, just be real careful. Uh, let me hear, I just heard a little ping, and that's my engineer. Oh, we've got John in Philly. John, how are you? Basil, I'm very good. Uh, can you hear me? I certainly can hear you loud and clear, even though you're all the way down in Philadelphia. Well, I thank you for taking the call, Basil. Uh, today I'm calling to ask you if you can give a uh, thorough uh, description of your Chapman Wave charts and their counts. 
focusing upon the monthly, then the weekly, and uh, least importantly, the daily on a home builder. That's D.H. Horton, ticker D.H.I. Uh, each, just parenthetically, Basil, um, I bought a couple of home builders and a home building ETF. I bought it very well back in 2022 amidst a pullback, and then I right. took profits way, way too early. Uh, uh, so that's my background. I am flat. My question is, uh, clearly, D.H. Horton and all the home builders are pulling back right now. I'm wondering, from a long-term perspective, how important this high is. Is this a major top, according to the Chapman Wave? Okay, good question, and I don't know if you want to hold on, but I've got a bunch of things. As I did some work on some of the home home builders I was going to. I've got it written down that I wanted to work on it today to, to talk about. So I'll talk about it as soon as we return. Dow's down 75. We're on with John and Philly. We'll be back looking at home builders. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive. He just hosted Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFA. TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So, folks, John and Philly asked me the question about DHI. That's uh, DH Morton. It's a home builder, one of the one of the really great uh, home builders. You've got Renai, you've got uh, Toll Brothers. Uh, this fits in that category. Made an all, I believe. I need to just check it out because in 2008 they had fantastic moves. Yeah, yeah, definitely an all-time high. Wow, look at that. So D.H. Horton trading at uh, 144, down 13 and a half, down 8.5%. Uh, 
So I, I was, I've got this as Tuesday, HGX, um, Toll, Len, Netflix, Microsoft, Meta, uh, Apple, Tesla, and questions that have come in in the den. I've, all, I've got that written down as what I wanted to do. So um, he beat me to it because I had other questions, which I went to straight away. Let me do this just real quickly. D.H. Horton was in leg D. The Chapman Wave methodology, D is where other things can happen. Look at that peak D right there back in, uh, uh, that was in uh, early December, pulls back. And then from, from uh, sorry, November, and then look at the fantastic move that it's had from the 128 area up to the most recent high, the 157-ish area. So I, uh, this is not a surprise to me at all. Why? Because what I wanted to start off the show with today was to talk about the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index. Now, isn't it uh, just a really coincidental serendipity that we have a great trader and position player from Philadelphia. And we're looking at the Philadelphia Housing Sector Index. Now, I've always wondered, is this the Philadelphia Index that uses the housing sector that's generic to the country, or is it actually just Philadelphia? I think it's like um, the S&P housing sector. This is the Philadelphia uh, sector. So what I had drawn in a long time ago was that there was a, a technique that I call the Chapman Wave. God, I wonder if I should ever take the time just to put all the different techniques that I've developed over the years just into one very succinct package. I, 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 that's what I think I will work on in the next few months. Chapman Wave overlapping wave and Chapman Wave cup and ladle to leg D. I typed that in way back at that peak B failure, way back in 2021. So in 2022, I looked at the pullback and I said, there should be a move that takes you to at least to see an overlapping wave that goes from peak B here and a peak B down there, where that next leg up takes out the both Bs and becomes a very powerful C, which still should go to a leg D. Now we've got a doji potential candle in the monthly chart. We've got a doji candle in the weekly chart. Sorry, we've got a leg D in the, in the weekly chart. We've still got... Days and days to go to Friday's 4 o'clock close. Where it closes with the stochastic and MACD and the 9 period moving average, very strong is a big question. I think this is a short-term topping motion at a peak D and the HGX. Why did I do that? Because look at Lennar, Lennar Corporation A Housing, did exactly the same thing, but it didn't do an overlapping wave. It did a proper peak D once back in 2021, pulls back sharply. Now it's gone to a leg D, with a chance that in January we actually make a peak D. But the question comes up, is this really a B in the weekly chart, or is it maybe an alternate count where it's an F? And I'm just saying I'm treating it as a B right now. The technicals are still good. And look at the daily chart, which went to a peak D. This is Lenar, L-E-N is the symbol, at 156.01 on the 15th of November. And all the, the tops that have been made three, four times since then have failed by pennies, but have failed to break that peak D. So it's in the rectangle formation and it's stuck. Question came in, DHI. Now, if you look at this chart, they all look kind of similar in the leg Ds in the monthly chart. This is a leg D in the weekly chart. A peak D, there's no way that it's going to take out yesterday's high. It had a high today of a round number 151, but yesterday's high was, in fact, 157.83. I'm looking for any round numbers there. Nope, today's a round number. So I'm making it real clear. Two closes above 153 in the next two weeks in D.H. Horton says, whoa, be careful, you're going to retest the high, which is in the 157s, number one. Number two, we've taken out any base of support. We've actually closed. We've, at this point, we've gone underneath the gap now, the question is for John, I believe, is, is this a much more serious top or is it just a kind of a consolidation? So I like to go step by step. I'm not even going to be able to talk about the monthly chart because it is technically very strong. Even though the stochastic is lower than it was at that peak C, it is still at 81%. Look at, this, look at the uh, MACD stochastic, etc. On balance volume, the blue line is very weak. 
but the stochastic at 92% in the weekly, and the MACD so strong. So this is the first. You can see the histogram started to pull back, but the price has held really well. That's number one. Number two is the nine period. It just hit the nine period moving average in one session. It went whoops from the upside around to the bottom, and that's the support. Next support is at 139. That daily chart says this is the start of a move that should get you into the candles in the 130s, all these little candles. And whether or not it's a follow through, and remember I said today to subscribers, be careful, although we've we got, we added long positions, they're under the radar, I think, long positions. And so I'm looking at this and saying, rotational correction unfolding as we speak uh, in different sectors. So most importantly, what I'm looking at here is that I would, and I can't remember now if John said he's actually taken some money off. I know he said he did get out early, but I don't know if he's still got any positions there. I would suggest on a very short-term basis, if you're looking, if you're looking to buy the um, home builders, and I have to tell you, I've, I'm going to go off subject just for a moment because I, I'm going off subject, but I, I really have a feeling that. A lot of people around the country are just asking the same question that I'm asking. Is it even possible that the home builders are not actually making a big topping formation, but in fact setting up for even higher prices? And when I see a city after city, state after the state, starting to talk about rent control, um, you, you just go back in history and you'll see that rent control almost always comes in as there's a major topping formation in the in the home builders of any particular city or town and that there's going to be some pretty decent pullback. So that's talk. Talk and action are two different things, but some, especially here in Massachusetts, especially in the areas where I am, like I live in Newton, Massachusetts, so it's just a matter of time before they start talking about that. They've already started talking about all sorts of things to limit uh, the size of houses, all sorts of things like that. Um, so that's in the cars, and that's just uh, that's cyclical over the over 100 years. That just goes in and out of favor. But this is one of the biggest moves that we've seen. And now when I see that there is bidding for rent, I mean, we're not talking about house. I want to pay more than the other person for rent because I need somebody to set. And a lot of the time, people are just moving because they want to move. They don't have to move. So I need to talk about that in terms of what we're looking at. Is this looking at a major top in the housing market? Or is it just cyclical, just some kind of a, a flurry of activity, and then we come back again? I'll be back in a moment. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So, first thing to tell me why I'm talking um, now, Basil, following John's question, check out Nail. I completely forgot about Nail. I had Nail, I nailed this year, years ago, and then I completely forgot about it. Look at this, A, B, C, D in the monthly chart to the high of 2021. A, B, C, leg D as we're speaking. But let's have a look at builders, uh, B, L, D, R. I haven't looked at that actually. Well, I should type it in here, right? B, B, L, D, R. So the big question, yep, leg D in the builders, builders first source in building materials, manufacturing components. Now, D doesn't mean just, oh, my God, D, you got to be careful. But what it does say is be a little cautious here. So this, the low that, well, let me just check. I think I already checked that out. This low is 105.27, 105.24. Don, technique, this should be A, B, C, and this should be leg D. Uh, but it made a lower low by two cents. I have to call this a C. What can I do? Um, and a peak A, B, C, and the um, A, B, alternate count, G. Okay, G says C in the daily. So this is Builder's first source. Now, one thing that's really important, and I was going to get to, I was beaten to it by uh, who in the den, uh, Dan in the den says, Dean Phillips key presidential platform element is the housing shortage, uh, recently quoting a deficit of 7 million units um, in the country. So let's just talk to that issue because that, in essence, is saying, now, I, I have this whole thing in my head sitting there. I've got it all. i got all these, everything I wanted to talk about. But let me just do it in a different way. When people talk about housing prices and that people can't afford housing prices, the irony is that when prices finally come down, 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 and, and people don't know it, but here in Newton, Massachusetts, in the last major market correction, the housing prices only came down 10, 15%, and they came right back to all-time highs. Prices just out of sight. I mean, where I'm living right now, just they're out of sight. So... Um, and there are a lot of people, uh, like my wife and I, are, you know, basically empty nesters, and we've got this house, which is which is wonderful to have when everybody comes to visit. But most of the time, we're not in every single room. Well, I certainly go to a lot of rooms. I got a music room. I got yeah, I got all these different rooms. But that's not the issue. The issue is, where do I go? Do I sell this place and then pay almost as much? For a two-bedroom, I'm lucky if I can get a three-bedroom, let alone a three-bedroom with, a, with a, an office or a, a, a little a room for whatever. And then you've got all those fees that you have to pay. That's the reason why there are, there are fewer houses for sale. It's not because people don't want to move. It's because they basically are trapped. You're giving up fabulous capital gains, of which you'd have to pay taxes on. And then you're going to something else that is, you know, if you want something, at least with some space, you're trapped. 
That's on the one hand. Number two is within the housing complex, um, when the market eventually takes a real dive, I don't mean just a little dive, I'm talking about a real dive and it lasts long enough that prices of everything keep coming down and down and down. And I, I was talking about Newton, Massachusetts, the Garden City, I've been here long enough to see housing prices get cut in half. When I was looking back to, uh, for, uh, to, to move from my first house back in 1983 to, to move from one side of town to get closer to the turnpike so my wife could get to work easier, um, I would go to someone, knock on their door, and they say, oh, my God, thank God, I haven't seen anybody for a year. And I've looked at price. I looked at we didn't have any uh, anything to Google in any way, but I would look at prices because I would keep the Boston Globe um, uh, sales. I kept those newspapers, and I would see that a house in the same area had dropped fifty percent. But they, it's not the point. They hadn't seen anybody to come and even look at the house for months and months. That didn't happen uh, in the last big uh, pull, major pullback. So that's what I'm looking at. When does it happen? It happens when the economy just goes down the tube. Major, major. And the financials have this major crisis. So I still see that there's a chance that the housing market can hold well until we finally get that the bubble gets popped. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the start of a turndown. If you, and I almost did that for subscribers, I didn't do it. It's still time. Um, I was thinking of putting on, a, a put positions on housing, uh, different ones. I wasn't sure which. And I thought about it, thought about it. I just had to wait. I think maybe now for the shorter term. But I'm not in the, I'm not in the category right now of saying, oh, major housing bust. Because what would happen is that you would need to see the... XLF, that's where you start to see the bubble burst. And that bubble hasn't burst. So this is just a correction. It could be a quite severe correction. I don't know if it, we don't even know. What am I talking about correction? You're talking about, uh, what we're looking, um, HDI, no, DHI. DHI, talking about a correction. It made an all-time high yesterday. It was like the VIX, when the VIX was screaming recently higher, when the market is almost at all-time highs, some markets were at all-time highs, that's not your big sell signal. That, the, the sell signal comes in when the VIX is still low down, but you've now pulled back 12, 10 to 12% in the markets. So, John, I hope I'm answering your question as, as clearly as I can to say, I believe that this is the start of at least a pullback. I haven't even got the pullback in the, in the weekly because it's still in leg D, but I would not be surprised if it is... It is the um, the bow across what the arrow across the bow. This is bow across the arrow across the bow. <laughs> so what we're looking at is it's the start of something, and we could still have that coda phase that says, "Man, now we're going crazy." I don't go to the banks and see people like I did in 2007, 2008, standing in the foyer of the bank with their papers, everyone talking about real estate. I don't see that at all. I don't see that anywhere. I don't see it in the in the Bitcoin. Look, Bitcoin, I see a major sell signal in the daily chart, but the weekly chart is still only a peak E. Monthly chart is still only a leg C. So the, the sell mode in the daily chart of Bitcoin, I, I, there's nothing that I'm listening to people talk about in terms of Tesla. Oh, my God, Tesla. No, there, there's nothing in the fashion mode right now that I can tell that everybody's asking me about. Nobody's asking me about anything here. Actually, one person talks to me occasionally about the banks that's because and he's just a regular he just hardly ever watches the market it's just because he had bought JP Morgan uh, sometime early last year and he said I don't know it's starting to go down I said look it's one of the great banks it should go back to where it was I just have patience and lo and behold it made a new all time oh let me talk about that 172.96 in October 2021 was the high it cuts more than half. 101 is the low back in March of, uh, was it March? Yeah, the, no, October of 2022. And lo and behold, what was the high just about six days ago? 176.31.
so it went above the previous high by only four, five, uh, five points or so. Look at that potential, potential short-term double top. Eh, maybe. We'll see because pulling back a little bit here. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'd be cautious at this particular point. Dow's down 100 and, oh, 36. We'll be back. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So some of the benchmarks that I use looking at the economy is Marriott Hotels, all-time high yesterday. Uh, today, just a little bit lower, uh, leg D in the monthly chart. But I don't, did also want to mention before we wrap up, that the immigration issue is going to be another factor in the home builders. 
So there are, are immigrants going to come over the border and then buy a house? No, they're not. There's a whole process that goes on. So I would put it into the category of uh, let's watch this and wait to see what happens because the housing sector, um, there are, until the houses come back on the market, or like people in my age group that, that want to sell have somewhere to go uh, and feel that that was cost effective, I think you've got a bit of a problem here. So with that said, I'll be back with Tom a little later on. Um, check up opening call. We've got uh, stocks that are actually holding pretty darn well right now. Um, and we've got prices all over the show. Whatever price you want, we've got it for some. So, <laughs> okay, have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for Steve Rose and the rest of the gang. And I will be back with Tom later in the afternoon.